Hello everyone. I'm going to be doing a yoga stress relief flow today. I think we can all agree that it is very much needed <laughs> in today's current times. <laughs> so just find a comfortable seat if you need a block or a pillow to kind of lift up through your hips. Go ahead and grab that. We're going to start with alternate nostril breathing. If you have any kind of congestion right now or seasonal allergies, this may not be easy if you're tr having um, trouble breathing through your nose. So if that's the case, just focus on relaxing, soothing inhales, exhales through your mouth. We're just gonna try to tap into our breath. We're gonna do this for about a minute. So you're gonna use whatever two fingers are easiest for you to kind of alternate onto your nostrils. I like to use my thumb and pinky. A lot of people use their ring finger and their thumb. It's whatever you prefer. But we're gonna start with plugging our left. Take an inhale through your right. Plug your right, exhale through your left. Keep your right plugged, inhale through your left. Plug your left, exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Plug your right, exhale through your left. Inhale through your left. Plug your left, exhale through your right. Keep going with the pace of your own breath. Really focus on the quality of your breath here. Close your eyes, just really tune into this breathing exercise. You'll swap your nostrils on after every inhale. So you're always exhaling through the opposite nostril that you inhaled on. Next time you're exhaling out of your left nostril, release your hands to your knees. You can either keep your eyes closed or gently open them. Inhale, lift your hands up overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. Bring your right hand slightly behind you. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Inhale, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, gently twist to the left. Inhale, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, side body bend to the right. 
place your right hand down on your mat, bring your left hand up and over, stay long through your side bodies. You can send your gaze forward or gaze up. Inhale, bring both hands up towards the sky, exhale, side body bend to the left. Relax your shoulders away from your ears, keep both sits bones grounded. Inhale, both hands up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to the tops of your shoulders. Bring your elbows out. I'm just going to take some shoulder circles. One way. And then the other way. I don't know if my microphone can pick it up, but. I kind of sound like bubble wrap right now. <laughs> Bring your hands down to your knees. Take some gentle neck rolls. Go in the opposite direction. Inhale, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. We're going to be focusing on something called RAIN throughout this practice. Each letter stands for a different thing. R stands for recognize what is happening. So think about that in this very moment. It could be what's happening in your body, what's happening in your mind, what's happening in your home, what's happening in the world. Collect your thoughts on it, absorb it. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Bring your hands to the side. Come into a tabletop position. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, ground down through the tops of your feet and your fingertips. On your inhale, come into cow, drop your belly towards the mat, lift your tailbone and your head towards the sky. Exhale, cat, arch your spine, drop your tailbone and the crown of your head down towards the ground. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come to a neutral spine. Bring your big toes to touch. Open your knees out wide. Drop your tailbone down towards your heels. Walk your hands out in front of you. Drop your head towards your mat. Your forehead can rest on your mat. Maybe you rock it back and forth. Give your brow line, your third eye, a nice little massage. Inhale, roll into tabletop. Plant your hands, extend your legs out into high plank. You can either flow through a high to low plank, upward facing dog, and then come into downward facing dog, or just press your hips up towards the sky for downward facing dog. Let your heels melt towards your mat. Stay active through your shoulders, but make sure that you have space between your ears and shoulders. Take an inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step your feet behind your hands. You would like for your feet to be about hip width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. Drop your torso over your thighs, bend your knees as generously as you need. 
to keep your spine nice and long. Grab opposite elbows, maybe rock a little bit from side to side. On your next inhale, bring your elbows towards the right side of your mat. Come over and up, all the way up on your inhale. Exhale, fall down through the left side for sunflower. Come through the bottom, inhale, lift up through your right. Exhale, flow down through the left. Pause at the bottom and switch. Inhale, lift up through the left. Exhale, fall through the right. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fall. Let go of your arms at the bottom. Toe heel your feet together. On your inhale, slowly roll all the way up to a standing position. Go as slow as you can until your shoulders are stacked over your hips and your neck is nice and long. Inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, relax them down and back. Bring your hands to heart center. Samastiti hi, equal standing posture. Here is where we will acknowledge the A in rain, which is allow life to be as is. Recognize what is happening and then allow it to be as is. Take an inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, bring your hands up over your head. Tuck your tailbone, knit your upper ribs in. Have equal distribution of weight through all four corners of your feet. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Take an inhale, exhale, bring your hands through heart center, fall all the way back down into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, grow long through your spine, shift your weight into your toes. Exhale, plant your hands down, come into a high plank. Again, option to always flow through a chaturanga or just press back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Step your back foot up, place it at a 45 degree angle. Step it up far enough to where you can find that heel to mat connection with your back foot. Lift up through your torso. Bring your arms up overhead for warrior one. Keep that bend in your front knee. Square your hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your tailbone. Straighten as much as you can through your arms. If your palms don't touch, that's fine. Grow long through your spine. On your next exhale, fold over into Humble Warrior. Bring your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Keep your hips square. Bring your hands up and over towards the front side of your mat. Gaze at your back toes to maintain your balance. Inhale, slowly rise all the way back up. Release your hands, open up to the side for warrior two. Widen your stance, parallel your back foot to the short ends of your mat. Keep your front knee stacked over your front ankle. Send an intentional gaze over your front middle finger. 
Inhale, straighten through that front leg. Point your toes to the corners of your mat. Bend your elbows up to a 90 degree angle. Bend your knees. Squat down for goddess pose. Or god pose. However you want to look at it. This is where we will acknowledge the I in rain, which is investigate inner experience with kindness. So while you're in this strong, empowering posture, investigate everything that's going on with you, everything that's internally happening, and embrace it with kindness. Inhale, straighten through your legs, parallel your feet to the short ends of your mat. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Walk your legs out as much as you would like to feel this stretch in different parts of your legs. Lift your tailbone towards the sky, shift your weight slightly into your toes, relax your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right side, the right foot. Walk your foot out to the edge of your mat. Drop your back leg down, untuck your toes. Runner's lunge. Both hands should be on the inside of your right foot. You can come down to your forearms if you want to intensify the stretch a little bit. Relax your neck and shoulders. Take two to three really nice breaths. Walk your foot back between your hands. Walk your right foot all the way over towards your left wrist. Drop your knee down towards your right wrist. We're coming into half pigeon. If this is a new posture for you, ideally you want your um, shin, calf to be parallel with the front end of your mat. That's definitely not accessible for everyone. It's not accessible for me, but that's just what you're going for. It's just kind of nice to know that's what the object is, even if you can't get there. Relax your head down, come down to your forearms, or come all the way down to your chest, depending on how intense you want the stretch to be. If you have a pillow or a block and you feel like you're really lifted up through your hips, you can place it under there for a little bit more support. Keep your front toes flexed to protect your knees and just breathe. your inhale come back up to your palms if you're not already there tuck your back toes lift your leg into downward facing dog or step your leg back into downward facing dog maybe walk out your feet a little bit inhale lift your left leg high exhale step through to a low lunge step your back foot up to a 45 degree angle keep that bend in your front knee Inhale, lift through your torso, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. 
Vira me meaning hero, Badra meaning warrior. I'm sorry, friend, hero friend. I think it's interesting that that's translated into warrior pose. Yeah, Vira means Vira means hero, and Badra means friend. I look at the postures a lot differently once I found that out. On your next exhale, clasp your hands, opposite thumb on top this time, behind your tailbone. It'll probably be whatever thumb feels weird. Puff up through your chest on your inhale, exhale, humble warrior, drop your torso down towards the inside of your left thigh. Keep your hips square, bring your hands up and over. You want to have that back foot just as active as the front. Inhale, slowly rise back up. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Reach your arms out in opposite directions. Parallel your back foot towards the short ends of your mat. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, straighten through that front leg. Point your toes out towards the corners of your mat. Bend your arms to 90 degrees. Bend your knees. God or goddess pose again. Yes. Which is where, since we acknowledged it on the other side, we will acknowledge the I again. Investigate inner experience with kindness. And you can take whatever ver arm variations you want here. If you want to stretch it out, do a dance. Bring them to your knees to kind of open up through your thighs a little bit more. It's your practice. I'm just here to guide you through it. Inhale, straighten through your legs. Parallel your feet. Exhale, fold your torso over towards your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk your hands over towards your left foot to the inside of your left foot. Walk your left foot to the edge of your mat. Untuck your toes. Come down on that back knee. Runner's lunge. If you drop down to your forearms on the other side, feel free to do it on this side. Every side of your body is different, so you may notice that sometimes you take something further on one side, and when you get to the other side, you're like, ow, that doesn't feel good at all. Always listen to that. Always respect it. Always investigate inner experience with kindness. <laughs> Inhale, come back up to your palms if you're not already there. Walk your left foot all the way over towards your right wrist for half pigeon. Drop that knee down towards your left wrist. You can stay with your chest up high for prob pigeon. Or you can slowly start to lower yourself down for sleeping pigeon. Next inhale, come back up. Just shift your weight to your left hip now. Swing your right foot around. Lower your back all the way down towards your mat. Keep your knees bent. Bring your heels in towards your glutes. 
hip width distance apart. You should be able to lightly graze the back of your heels with your fingertips. Plant down through your feet and your shoulders on your next inhale, lift through your pelvis for bridge pose. Engage your glutes, your abdomen, your thighs. Keep your knees in line with your hips. Make sure they're not splaying out or falling in. Press down through your shoulders and the back of your head. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower down. Walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Let your knees fall in towards one another for falling bridge. Take a nice inhale. And then exhale. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll on your spine a little bit to come up to a seat. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Keep your feet, um, the soles of your feet together. Open up your knees wide. Slowly walk your hands out in front of you. You can keep your hands on your toes if you want and apply a little pressure with your elbows onto your um, legs, but that's only if that feels good. Don't force yourself to do anything. Relax your neck, but keep your spine nice and long. On your inhale, slowly rise up. You can either stay here, you can take a happy baby, you can take a um, supine twist, take whatever else postures you may like or you can stay in Supta Baddha Konasana. Inhale, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. And this is where we will acknowledge the in in rain, which is non-identification. It is the realization or awareness that we are not bound, restricted, by our emotions or our pasts. Inhale through your nose. Absorb that knowledge, absorb that thought. You are not limited by your emotions or your stories. Open mouth, exhale. Close your eyes. And repeat that. You are not limited by your emotions or your stories. Inhale, bring your hands up to your third eye. This is a very stressful time but you are beautiful in whatever state you're in. You are safe. Things could always be worse. Bad times are only temporary. Take an inhale. The light and love in me sees, honors, the light and love in you. 